Preempt procrastination by always imagining completion. Hi, good day. My name is Nichols and welcome to the show. So sometimes when we think about something for the future, we think about maybe, hey, maybe we should just put this off and do it tomorrow. Maybe we'll fail. Maybe something bad will happen to it. And then, obviously, when we get to that thing, we've kind of already primed ourselves to procrastinate. But instead of doing that, how about instead we just, every time we think about that future thing, take that mental effort to go, oh, no, we're going to complete that thing and imagine how good it is. So always be in the frame of mind for completion, even if you don't really feel like it. Just always be in that frame of mind of, oh, we are going to get this thing done in the end of the day or somewhere late in the day instead of thinking about procrastinating before you even get there. Now, that is one of the keys to victory. I think it's a very important part of getting something done and not putting it off. Perhaps one of the very key parts of it and perhaps the initial first step that's necessary to make sure you get something done. So just in that mind's eye, really imagine doing the work and the positive benefits, how good you're going to feel when it gets done, when you get that hard things done. And yeah, there is this moment of discomfort because you you were like, oh, okay, maybe I can put this thing off and not worry about it today. And there's this moment of discomfort of like, oh no, are we going to actually do this thing? And I think that moment of discomfort is fine as long as you go, okay, we're going to do this thing. It feels momentarily uncomfortable to imagine doing it because it's an uncomfortable thing. But we imagine how good it will feel to get it done. And that's okay. And that gives you that positive mental attachment to it. And then for you're more likely to get it done rather than putting it off. Whereas if you start thinking about it in some aversive way and then get the pleasure from thinking about putting it off, then you already prime yourself to lose by the time you get there. So being in that frame of mind of, oh, we're definitely going to get it done. It's going to feel good to get it done. already puts you in a position. It's like an easy win that puts you in a position. It's like the training for the fight. You've done the training then and you're in a position to fight well, fight with everything you have and potentially win. And there's psychological discomfort that we get from thinking about that future thing that's often a, a task, a, a intellectual task we find uncomfortable or some challenging, difficult kind of conversation or whatever, or meeting or whatever it is. This is the kind of thing that we also feel when we're doing something physically uncomfortable. And it's not a sign of a bad thing. It's the whole point is that physical discomfort is normal. It's actually where we're supposed to be. It shows us that we're on the edge of performance. And we're not running away from our challenges. We're facing the demons of our mind and we're where in the end we'll defeat them, if not ourselves, but we'll encourage others and help others to do that. So it is that discomfort. The biggest lie you ever told yourself is that you shouldn't be uncomfortable. If you're uncomfortable, you're actually in the right spot. If you're uncomfortable and you're doing something that is meaningful, that's exactly where you need to be. And that is, if you stay there, that is where you will win. So rather than imagining putting off something uncomfortable, simply imagine winning and doing it. And therefore you attach a mental, instead of having a... uh, negative mental attachment to it, you have a positive mental attachment to it, and that's setting yourself up for victory. QED. All right, well, thanks for listening, guys. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.